All right, so hey guys, just came back from a local convention, Shawi Con. It's like a Comic Con, but uh, in my town locally, that was quite epic, and I'm kind of really proud about it. And I'm going to go next year for sure. It's going to get bigger and bigger. It was smaller last year. I didn't go. But this year I went because I had somebody special that I didn't really want to take a picture with. And she's like the biggest cosplayer in Canada for us. She's equal to the Jessica Nigri, Nigri of the United States. But that's not her. That's actually uh, they had a cosplay championship challenge. She was number two, and I had to share that because it was based on a local legend, uh, La Corrivo, we called. It's kind of really uh, dark stuff. Uh, you you got to go check it out. I'll put a link down below to explain the whole story of this lady that got in cage and displayed to the village. But it's kind of an original cosplay thing. She did her own thing. Nothing based on comic books. Nothing based on anything of the comic book universe or sci-fi or whatever. It was really a local legend of a lady that got murdered and displayed through the village. Which was really awesome and kind of very gory. Part number two, that's my stepson with a couple of cosplayers, Star Wars. There was a lot of Star Wars. Boba Fett. That was epic. All three of my kids standing in front. I didn't take a picture. I thought it was really cool. The X-Men uh, full-fledged. Everybody was there. It was really cool. Especially, I would say, the Xavier and uh, Wolverine guy. I got a better picture coming up next, I think, from my girlfriend. Her angle was better than this. Magneto. There we go. Look at that intense Wolverine face. That was really epic. I really liked it. And the cosplayer and... Uh, Emma Frost, Cyclops, Mystique. I think we got Kitty Pride in there. I'm not sure. That's X23 somehow. I don't know. But really cool. Again, cosplayer, she actually won. Did she win second place? I don't remember. But it was really great. That's me. That's, that's why I went pretty much. I wanted the... Uh, Cosplay picture of Marie-Claude Bourbonnet, which is like our Jessica Negri of Quebec City, uh, Canada, pretty much, if you want to compare her to the big stuff. She's actually really big and big around here, so I wanted a picture with her. She was cosplaying at The Flash on Saturday, and she had her, uh, I like her Mortal Kombat cosplay. She had a uh, Scorpion on right now, it was really cool. She was really nice to talk to, uh, really down to earth. Epic, epic lady. Can't wait for next year. See what she's going to bring. She's going to actually upgrade her cosplay shop. I asked her. I always want. I waited a long time. Been a fan of her for eight years. And I waited to ask her if she was going to do a Soul Calibur Ivy cosplay. And she told me everybody's asking me to do that. Because if you look at her, look up her page. I'll put a link down below to her page. She has the same frame face figure and everything should be perfect cosplay of ivy and soul caliber so can't wait she's upgrading her shop right now she'll come up with some uh awesome stuff but she's already creating like really high quality cosplay that's her with the first place winner of the day of the cosplay i if you know what it is, comments down below. Boba Fett crossover Star Wars. I don't know what it is, but it was really epic. A lot of work in that suit, man. It was just, I was speechless. That was, she got the trophy right there in her hand right here. That, but that was cosplay number one of the day. She won the big trophy. That was the presentation. That was the Incredible Hulk with my three kids. Just insane, big he was like life size, really cool, really well done. Again, full frontal picture of the X Men cosplay, really awesome. Good job. Look at that intense Wolverine, so awesome. Storm Trooper, we had a bunch, we got two, three, and they actually had mics with a voice, it was cool. Again, my girlfriend with the cosplay champion of the day. X-Men again, the Hulk, we had some Ghost Recon, no, that was uh, Call of Duty Ghost actually, yes, it was, we had some League of Legends, I'm kind of bummed out she didn't win, because that was just really, really perfect, she didn't, I don't know why she didn't win, 
I should have taken a picture of other winners. I would exchange her for the other ones. She really put the effort in her costume. And I don't know why she didn't win. She should have had a trophy for sure. They had some alligators. We all held some crocodiles here and there. It was really epic. I don't know. There was a display reptile show and we could hold them. That was a live one. It's not dead. Star Wars. Alligator. Cosplay League of Legends. Boba Fett again. Marie-Claude Bourbonnet on the stage right there. Just waiting uh, somehow throughout the show. It was kind of funny. Uh, we had to wait for the cosplayer to come back. And she told everybody, oh, you got 15 minutes. And we're going to pick, wait, and pick the winners. And somehow the cosplayers took forever to come back. It's kind of weird. My prize picture. Harley Quinn and my girlfriend. Maybe next year we'll uh, cosplay my daughter and girlfriend too. If we go back. X-Men. Guys, comments down below, please. I'm trying to figure out what was that cosplay right there. It was really epic. I want to know. Comments down below if you know what this is. So, Marie-Claude Bourbonnet in the champion. And look at that sad face in the back. I just noticed I'm in that picture. Mmm. Nailed it. Again, please, comments down below. What are those guys? I have no clue. And me and an alligator. Awesome. Girlfriend and the alligator. And that's the end. But I had so many more pictures, but I wanted to do a short video. It's already been six minutes, but it was really awesome. Had a great time with the family. It was 15 bucks per adult, five bucks for kids. It was cool to have a local convention. I hope it's bigger next year. I'll promise I'll film and take more pictures.